Today on A Common the Good MTG, we're playing a Azorius version of a mill deck this time. Does this version have what it takes to take you to the Grand Championships? Probably not. But what it does have is dozen spades. Stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host and a part-time electrician. You never prove a thing on me, copper. Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film before our live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub. Posted by Pezmerga1984. Pezmerga. Pezmerga. Something like that. Uh, called Mindbreaker Control, where they promised a 64% win rate. So far. So uh, we'll see, man. We shall see. All right, so this is a mill deck, meaning that our intentions are to make somebody run out of cards in their library rather than making them run out of blood in their veins. So uh, we got a completely different target, a different objective, and we're going to make that happen. All right, so let's very quickly go through the cards in this deck, and then we'll go out. We'll crush some hopes and dreams. We got a uh, little white mill who will basically put it out, go get your land, counterspell. This will draw you two cards, give you two life, and you have to discard two cards, which is great because you need to throw these Mind Breakers into your graveyard. Paying seven to put them out is a sucker's bet. You want to pay the Unearth card, Unearth cost, which is only four mana, three which has to be blue, though. Uh, Restoration of Ian Ganju will go get you a land, but will also in the second turn allow you to throw something away from your hand. You want that to be the Mind Breaker. So we got two sources of throwing things into your graveyard. There you go. Another counter spell. Another card that will help you throw away something, as well as give you a extra land of any color and draw card, or card draw ability. Depopulate will wipe the board. Sunfall will wipe the board. This will, this is just an overall great card for uh, exiling a target tap creature, putting out samurai creatures for, for blocking. It's just a good defensive white card. Jace is the other part of the, uh, the mill combo. This one's very distinct. You can, If you can pay the full price of four mana, which isn't hard, you're guaranteed at least 15 cards to be milled away. And we do the math. We'll talk about that later. Memory Deluge just helps you go find the cards you need for your combo, which is generally two Mind Breakers and a Jace. But you need this to be in a graveyard. You can also do one of these and two of those, but some combination of that. All right, so we got the Sunfall. And this, whenever it attacks... Forces the defending player to mill half their library around it down, around it up. All right, so if we talk about it, you know, they have 60 card decks. They draw seven cards. By the time you attack with this, they'll be down to 50 or less, right? So therefore, you take that down by half. There's somewhere between 20 and 25 cards. This can do 15. So if you had two of them, you'd be able to do 30. So you play four on one turn to get them down to less than 25. This one does 15 on the next turn and then 15 on the turn after that. So basically, it starts three turns of where you're guaranteed to win, provided they don't have a counter spell. If you do two of these, then it'd be like 25. And then the next turn, you do 25. You do another, was I take that down to 12? At which point, that 15 is capable of blowing all the way. So that's why you either need two Mind Breakers or you need two Jaces and then one of the other. All right, other than that, we've got a bunch of different lands. We'll see how that pans out. All right, so what's our goal here? It's to ramp up as quickly as we can, help to control the board using the counter spells, search our library to get the combo, wipe the board when we need to, and then combo, combo, combo. They're gone. All right, so before we go out and try that out, let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Dear Black King Toxworld, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to 
crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, Finnegan's nine out of ten. <clears throat> Three mana. All right, let's pick up some life. What is this guy playing up here? A life pick up some land. Another word that's worth with an L. Just gruel so far. Looks like he's going for the ramp. All right, tranquil. Whoa. All in. guy never taps. He's wandering Emperor Proof. Need those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just gotta get rid of two cards. Not even two, just one. There we go. All right, this would be cool. All gone. That guy, be wandering emperor though. I just gotta lay a trap for him. Here's the trap. And we win. Sucker, sucker fish. I think it's Junior Brandau. All right, see some white. I'm going to call it ramp. But it's consistent mana growth. Very conservative investments into our future. Not enough to play this or that. Let's go, Joe. It's all up to you. All right, that just gets us towards more mana. Chumpy McChumperson.
Do they believe really bring things back from the graveyard? Faithful mending. Okay, there we go. I'm going to wipe the board now. Okay, I need three blues to be able to do the mind breaker. We only have two. Out of pay! All tack. Ooh, you're gonna take it. I can't believe you did that. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to be drawing cards right now. That's fine. It didn't say anything about drawing. Take it, put this down, put out a nice mind breaker. It's fine. Gain a little life. Come on, you can do it. Pop that up. Eyes down to 11 cards. I have a five life. Where are those Jaces now? I don't have anything to protect myself with. Coming in for the attack. Samurai. Planes. Can't do that. Uh, created one of these. Can't block. All right, go for it, Suckerfish Johnson. All 
I gotta keep some stuff in my hand. This won't get rid of it. Alright, that guy's gone. Pop one of these. Which I can't do, apparently. Which means I'm just gonna pop one of these, then. And that's it. I can't do anything to protect myself. You didn't see it. All right, so Jace and Negate get out of Samurai. I hope this will do it. Those guys aren't blockers. He's only got three. Oh, I got lucky. And in turn. There we go. Yeah, he, he could have killed me at one point, but he didn't see it. Victory! I'm playing against Serac Chaos. Serac Chaos? I don't know what the first word would be. Keep. Okay, we kind of need two whites. Let's go for that. Discard two cards. I just threw away the card I kind of need for that. We'll do it anyway. One and let's just do two like that. All right, that's fine. If we get three blue, we can play it. Ooh, we can always just bring it back if we need to, but. Oh, it's not a bringer back or is it? I need blue. Dang it, what am I giving up here? Wandering Emperor. Do I really need two of these? No, probably not. Oh, these things are slow. I'm not a big fan of Tranquil Pove. Yep, keep drawing those cards. 
I'll attack. What's he down to anyway? 23. I get 15 out of this guy, no problem. Okay, let's just lay these guys down. One, two, three, four, five. Eyes right, down to seven cards left. We got this game in the hole. This has got some sort of super combo. One, two, that's enough. All right, draw a card. Or shoot me for 21 live. And we win. Touchdown, Lava Bears. All right, playing against Firebird. Keep. Yeah, I'm not a fan. And first turn, sure, whatever. Anything could be too slow on the first turn. All right, I gotta get my ass up to five. Find a way to discard that mind breaker. Always oh, playing enchantments. All right. One. Two. Yeah, I only care about his life gain at this point. Our game is something completely different. All right, we got everything we need to win. We got the combo. He doesn't have the ability to counter. So we've pretty much won this game. All right, he's at 26 in the graveyard, 23 in his library. One, two, three, four, five. And now he's at seven. I kind of want to just stretch this game out a little bit. That's his famous last words. This kind of stuff you say when you just, you're just asking to die, despite the fact you got all the reading cards in your hand.
There we go, we're going for the kill. And we win! Victory! Alright, playing against El Lunatico. El Tiso. Tiso. Nope. El Lunatico. That sounds right. Keep. I tell you, I... I'm gonna go for blue. I'm always struggling to get that third. All right, number two. Three. This guy will help you start throwing those mind breakers in the graveyard. Discard a card. There's four. All in. All right, it's playing with 25. So I have to play that a whole cycle next turn. Held back on Jace. I could pin down Narset. Yeah, Narset. But, you know, he'd probably just shoot at the lightning bolt or something. That was fun. No blocks. We're fine. Gotta keep playing this land game, apparently. All right, all in Chevy Chase. Can we do it this turn? Let's count it out. 11. 11 times three times three is nine. Let's just wait. We can guarantee it next turn. Prowess. All right, I was Hopefully he doesn't have double strike. Even then, I'd still survive it. There we go. Ah, 
I know. I was just being mean. Victory! All right, here we are playing Mindbreaker Control, where we were promised a 64% win rate. I ended up having a 63% win rate. So there you go. It's it's uh, pretty close to its promised win rate right there. Um, was this deck any good? Yeah, it was. I mean, it did what modern, you know, mill decks do. You get out the, the Trizian Mindbreaker. You got something that does half people's libraries, and then either two Jace Perfected Minds, or you do two of the Mindbreakers and one of the Jace's Perfected Mind. You know, that's the combination. Everything else is just getting you there. It's usually drawing cards, wiping the board, you know, something. Um, this is the Azorius version of it, and, uh, you know, it was good. It was a good deck. You know, the funny part is I don't think I countered a single thing. There's uh, Negate and Dissipate, and I pretty much used just threw those away anytime I had something else going on because I, I really dislike countering and I like I got other things I like to do better. Usually wiping the board, restoration did its job, all that kind of great stuff. All right, so who was the MVP here? I mean, MVP was obviously the combo of the Mind Breaker and the Perfected Mind, but the card I was most looking forward to was like the restoration of Ian Ganjo so that I could throw the Mind Breaker in the graveyard. Because without being able to do that, the Mindbreaker is very slow. The other places you could throw things away with is Faithful Mending. It was a good card as well. So those dudes, Faithful Mending and the Restoration of Ian Ganjo, totally were, I believe, the MVPs for this deck. They're the, the, the special sauce that helped to speed things up and make it play more consistently. So good job, boys. Was this deck competitive? At 63%, it is a competitive deck. I tend to think of it as being more of a casual competitive. When I was playing against, let's see, mono red, mono white, I didn't do so well. So aggro decks, nah, they're gonna they're gonna beat you out. You're not gonna be able to, to fight them fast enough. I remember I think I wiped the board three times against mono white, mono red, and it just kept coming. I just couldn't keep it off my back. It's like trying to fight, you know, a bunch of toddlers off when your hands are full of candy canes. They're, those little suckers are all over you. Um, so yeah, casual competitive, absolutely. I'm not. You're not climbing ladders with this thing. Number two, was it fun? Yeah, I mean it was fun. I always like a good uh, mill deck because what I like is when people like I love screwing over life game. Love that. They're like, look at me, I'm gaining life. I'm like, I don't care. You're down to like 20 cards, mother effer. You're gonna take it. And then, you know, you get them down to like five cards. They're starting to pee their pants a lot. Man, that was the best. The only thing was that you could tell sometimes I wanted to toy with people at the end. And I didn't. I went for the kill. So that shows you that maybe the deck isn't as fun as I want it to be. Because I want to go for the toying them around by doing some weird stuff. But, yeah, you, you know, if you're in it for the kill, if you're in it for the win, there's a very solid combo here that that wins was this deck interesting um yeah i mean it's going to be interesting because it's a mill deck and mill deck is just interesting as itself because you're playing in a totally different way you're not really doing you know any of the other things it's all about just getting rid of that guy's library just pile it into that graveyard and try to handle that as well as you can i think it was um it was good. I mean, as far as a mill deck is concerned, this is a little on the boring side. It does the same thing. It's just what's kind of nice here is we got a little bit of white ramp as well as then, you know, the, the board wipe. And it's not really ramp because you can't put out an extra land per turn. In Ganjo kind of does it, but it gives it to you as a tapped one. They make sure that white does not get mana. They can get it consistently. They just can't get it too often. Eh, what are you going to do? All right, so let's uh, let's count this up. The deal is, is it competitive? Sorta. Is it fun? For the most part. Is it interesting? Kind of, sorta. So I'm going to give this deck an A. It's an A deck. Just because it is a solid deck, it's a good deck to play, and uh, especially if you're playing casually with some friends, it's fantastic. It's a good way to go. You're only going to be able to take out one person at a time because you're 
your mill deck is only good at going against one defending player. Uh, if you play against multiplayer, you're not going to win. There's nothing you could do. This deck is not for you. It's a single, it's a one-on-one -on -one play, but uh, it's a good deck for that. It's a good deck for that. All right, so if you decide that you want to play this deck, I hope that you have as much fun with it as I did. That is all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the secret underground headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later. <laughs>